We're going to start off very, very simple. Uh, we want to talk about what kind of wood you're going to use, what you're going to need to make the guitar, and you really do have two alternatives. Um, you can get a what we call a service kit. A service kit you can buy from Stuart McDonald or Luthiers Mercantile, one of many suppliers that supply them. And the hard part is done. The, the, the sides are bent, the neck is roughed out, and it'll give you a really good head start on putting your guitar together. The service neck from the service kits are roughed out. The Spanish heel is all carved, ready to go. Just a little bit of modification. The basic outline of the neck is finished. The slots and holes for the tuners are all done. We just have to smooth them out. And our overlay for the headstock is all done. All we have to do is design our own outline for the headstock. It'll have the, the groove or the channel for the rosette already cut out. The sides or the two pieces at the top will be glued together already and the rough outline will be cut out. The hole will also be cut out. You'll have to put the rosette in at a later point. The back side, now I already have a head start on this one because we were building this, uh, this kit for somebody, but all of the braces uh, we get individual and we glue them in place. Now here's an example of two sides. They are already bent, ready to go. Uh, the one thing I will note is that we will have to trim both ends when we assemble a guitar, and you will have to trim the back, in other words, the outline for the back. The front, where the top attaches to, is all set. So with a service kit, we get the sides that are already bent. So we have the kerfing. And there should be four kerfing strips. Two for the top, two for the back. This piece of wood here, okay, is very delicate. This piece of wood has the grain running in this direction. If this were a solid piece of wood, and I were to saw it right down on the right down the middle, and then open it like I would a book, that's what we mean by book matched. So. This is one edge, and this is another edge. They always go in the same direction. So we could say, if we split it, we could call this the bottom. So when we put it together, that would be the bottom. That would mean that the outside on one side here would match this side, book match. And I'm going to divide this into three sections. The first thing I'm going to talk about are the typical everyday woodworking tools that you can get anywhere in a woodworking tool shop. Um, we're going to need a couple of planes. Little black plane is going to be good. We're going to need jack plane. Next thing we're going to take a look at are the tools that we're going to be needing for the frets. Now if we take a look at our little training aid right here, and yeah, I chopped up a guitar, no way to get around it. We're going to be using a saw to cut the individual slots for each fret. And the slot has to be uh, in a perfect place at a perfect depth. Uh, we're also going to be using a table saw. Now there are a lot of different varieties of uh, 10 inch table saws. I'm going to be using a contractor's portable table saw uh, because I don't need to cut large pieces of wood and it's going to be good enough for what I'm going to use it for. However, if you've got a regular uh, stationary table saw, that's fine. I'm going to be using a 14 inch band saw with a variety of different blades and I'm going to be using a 10 inch band saw. And I'm also going to be using an old-fashioned jigsaw that I think Thomas Edison put this motor together. It's so old that um, I'm surprised it even works, but I do a lot of fine scroll work with it. So be it a new tool or an old tool, you can get a lot of mileage out of it as long as, again, the tools that you're using are sharp and they're in good shape. You shouldn't have a problem. Um, and you don't need to go out and spend a ton of money on getting uh, power tools to build a guitar. 
The next thing we're going to talk about are the plans that we're going to use to build a guitar. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 